Investing is all about walking the fine line between safety and risk. There's always some level of risk to assume from any asset. Nothing is guaranteed, but certainly there are some that are more risky than others. If you look at particular asset classes over time, they tend to go from overvalued to undervalued in a wave. This repeats over and over again. But what is never understood is how we got to the point at which we stand. It's only after looking in the pages of history that everything makes sense. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. There are many ways to measure risk, and one of the most popular ones is to look at the VIX index. However, in recent years, we have found out that the Federal Reserve is actually impacting this negatively, and I will show you the admission of that in today's video. We're going to look at what's happening with the VIX index today to give us an idea of the investor sentiment and the insanity that has come out of all of this money printing, quantitative easing, and the central bank policies, which are in fact destroying the financial system. What you are looking at right here is the VIX futures options net speculative positioning. I had shown you this in January of 2018. Look at what we have now encountered. This is a record level of shorts happening on the VIX index. The last time this occurred at this level, and we've now surpassed it, was January 2018, right before the VIX exploded. And this was obviously the problems that you know all throughout 2018 stemmed from this one event of all of these people piling into this one trade now they're doing it again at an even you know more over exaggerated level it was so bad that time around and yet today it's even worse if you can believe that so look at what has occurred you know over time if i pull the highlighter out here we can look at this very carefully this was becoming the the name of the game 2016 2017 it was an easy trade short the vix because the central banks are there they're going to make sure that everything's you know just fine and so on well, that changed in an instant. And you could see we moved up from this extremely low point all the way up into the positive territory practically overnight. And then that turned around again because the central bank said, okay, don't worry, we're going to take care of you, the ECB and so on. But that didn't last long again because we had another event happening around September then and really came into October. And here you can see for yourself that it just repeats in a cycle. And for the VIX index specifically, this happens to be shifting very radically take a look at it here as we are now at a record level i mean i can't believe the complacency that has been apparent so you could see the vix here specifically just seeing it on this chart going back to these levels now when i see this 12.64 according to this it moves of course in a daily basis but the actual level that we are at happens to be the same thing we encountered back in October before it spiked up higher. That doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to spike higher, but it just shows us where we are at today. There's no risk. According to the VIX index, they are not seeing any risk. It's unbelievable how far they are willing to take this. Looking at the VIX 17 week rate of change also has come into the negative at a rate we have never seen before. This is very important. Also just showing you the changes that occur from time to time. And this happens to be going from a record level you know that that change in there the delta and this tells us right now that the difference that has been experienced hasn't been this way ever before we go from a rate of something that is i wouldn't even say necessarily very risky okay because they you know the central banks have been having their hands in it and so it was elevated most certainly throughout from october to december but that changed rather rapidly in fact it changed so fast we've never seen it like this before then you have the ultimate here and that is the global monetary supply this is in the inverse of course and just comparing that to the vix and as long as the central banks are printing money easy money policies 
very cheap interest rates, you may see the VIX index decline until it snaps. That's what happened in January of 2018. If you think about it, why in the world would this be the case? Well, you're seeing it right here that we have encountered over time and time again, the amount of money printing that's happening simply accelerates further and further. And then the VIX index to to, according to the VIX index and investors, hey, this is a great time to pile on. But then we saw in 2018 January where it snapped, okay? So even though the central banks didn't stop printing, didn't give up on their easy monetary policies, it still was a big issue for that and a lot of investors were beaten up as a result. As equities surge to all-time highs, volatility has all but vanished. Hedge funds are betting the calm will last, shorting the CBOE Volatility Index, or VIX, as rates not seen in the last 15 years. Okay, this is what we're talking about directly from Bloomberg. They are discussing this issue as well. Large speculators, mostly hedge funds, were net short about 178,000 VIX futures on April 23rd, the largest such speculation on record, according to the CFTC. Commonly known as a stock fear market gauge, aggressive bets against the VIX are deepening on your worldview evidence of either confidence or complacency. And of course, this is the world we live in today where central banks are ultimately in control, but occasionally they run into a few problems. Then the central banks need to come out and calm everybody down. They have a you know, FOMC meeting, maybe the ECB comes out, Mario Draghi says a few words, and so on. VIX positioning, you could just see it here coming directly from Bloomberg, basically showing us the same information that we saw in the previous chart. But look at the volatility over the years that has been experienced, starting with the financial crisis and then beyond. And this is getting so exaggerated right now. And the amount of investments, I don't want to really call them investments, I mean, they're gambling essentially, that has been going on in this particular trade has really accelerated over the years. Now, we're looking at what the Federal Reserve, specifically Jerome Powell, said. Now, this takes place back in 2012. I've talked about this before, and although I, I've done videos about it, whenever I've mentioned it after that, there's, you know, always get comments from people. They don't understand this. They don't know that the Federal Reserve actually did this. They actually admit to forcing down this VIX index. I mean, we're talking about the ability to manipulate anything they want. I'm going to read this, uh, uh, this entire paragraph here, but it's, it's really telling. Take selling. We are talking about selling all of these mortgage-backed securities. Right now, we are buying the market effectively, and private capital will begin to leave that activity and find something else to do. So when it is time for us to sell or even stop buying, the response could be quite strong. There is every reason to expect a strong response. So there are a couple ways to look at it. It's about $1.2 trillion in sales. You take 60 months, you get about $20 billion a month. That's a very doable thing, it sounds like, in a market where the norm by the middle of next year will be 80 billion a month this right here is funny because that rate of 80 billion a month was you know something that they thought would happen they thought they were going to do the whole qt way sooner it, it never happened never happened uh, anywhere near their thoughts anyway another way to look at it though is that it's not so much the sale the duration it's also unloading our short volatility position they said it themselves this is a quote how they are simply affecting exactly what happens in this market right now there's no other way to deny it when you simply look at the facts as policymakers squeeze monetary uncertainty for massive prices the fast money is betting against further swings in u.s equities this just basically covers the same details there's more information in here but i'm not going to bore you with that u.s weekly jobless claims post the biggest rise in 19 months this is what we see all the time when we can look at these numbers that ultimately don't tell us the whole 
real big picture. I want you to look at the real deal, the information that doesn't get counted for. And you're looking at the unemployment rate, the U3, even the weekly jobless claims. It's not really valid when you look at how many people do not have a job today. Over 100 million people in the United States are not employed. That's a number that you should be worrying about. There's no way to simply deny that at all. I'm going to end the video there. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a like on the video you're supporting me supporting the truth so i do appreciate that very much if you want the financial education you were not taught in school these two books have everything you need all the details at the link in the description if you want the audiobook that's available at themoneygps.com last but not least if you want the details of the federal reserve the secret bailouts that are going on and everything that they do click on this video and i will see you there